Hi everyone and welcome for this new adventure. This is Advent of Rust. So we will do it together, a Rust API, showcasing how to connect with a DB, uh, unit testing, integration testing, CI, CD, authentication, and much more. So it's going to be very beginner friendly. We will do it together, live, no edits, between five and 10 minutes video every day. And it's gonna be open source, available on my GitHub repository. So let's start with day one how to install Rust and how to configure your IDE. So let me zoom a bit. Great. So first I uh, go to uh, Google or your favorite brother, install Rust. It's gonna be the first link from Rustlang. And the recommended way is to use a curl command, which will download an installer and install it. Uh, if you're not too okay with that, you can see other installation method, everything is described. Uh, but I will, with you, uh, I, will, I will use the recommended way. So let's paste it. It will download the installer and offer three different choices. Uh, the first one is uh, install it with the default one, customize or uh, cancel. So uh, let's do uh, the recommended default one. Obviously, I already installed it, so it's taking like two seconds, but it might take a bit longer on your uh, connection on your computer, depending on your connection. Make sure you add cargo to your pass. And I'll explain what is cargo in a bit. So yeah, if you type cargo version, you should be able to see to see that depending on the version. So what is cargo? Cargo is your best friend when you will write uh, some Rust code. It's basically a command line tool to build. Uh, it's a package manager. It's uh, able to generate a new template, a new uh, project. So if you type uh, if you type cargo new uh, pizza API, it will create a new repo. So if you cd into it, you can see that it has uh, generated like a skeleton of uh, our new application. Before diving into those uh, files, let's make sure that your IDE is correctly configured. So there is a very nice extension, which is the Rust Analyzer. Uh, make sure that you install it. Uh, I already installed it, but you should be able to see a blue button, which uh, marked install. Maybe you need to restart your VS code afterward, but yeah, make sure you have it because uh, it's going to be super useful for auto completion and uh, uh, error checking. So at the end of day one, uh, it was really short and sweet, but yeah, congrats, you have installed Rust, you know what is Cargo and you've generated your first uh, small project. So uh, let's see uh, tomorrow how we can uh, start our development and explain a bit what is in this uh, generated project. So see you tomorrow and have a great day.